never gone better than what she's been doing of late. And a couple of runs, she's been dashing home in sub 58 to win those races. A little bit of a skip there in the early part of the score up. But uh, should be able to tickle up and get up on the inside. Yeah, thanks, Grant. Um, money for Polly put Kettle on to beat um, Dancing Finn, but now the money comes back for Dancing Finn. Polly put Kettle on was just doing a little bit of a skip in the uh, early parts of the scorer. Huh? She's got gate speed, fair gate speed, set. He's not coming out with Dancing Finn. Polly put Kettle on's got the speed to lead. Grinferon goes up to sit outside it, and Dancing Finn grabs the 1 1 quickly. Malegit on the inside. They found their positions very quickly. Glacier Heights went roughly and galloped, and because of that, it's exceptional cop the check. And has dropped back about 10 metres, but they're both now pacing. Lead time 13.1. Polly put Kettle on in front, takes him down the back at the 1450, leads by a full sulky's length. On the outside, Grin for Ron. They're not putting any pressure on this leader. On the inside is Malegion. And Dancing Finn, she's one out, one back as they make their way into the back street. Now, behind those, starting to tack on are the other two. They've gathered their thoughts. Glacier Heights pacing OK now, and it's exceptional gets up on the inside. First quarter is about to appear. It's 31.1, and Polly put Kettle on in front. Still copying, no pressure at all for, from Grinferon, who's outside the leader. Sometimes he can be aggressive type of horse driving-wise, but they're a bit soft on him lately, and he's only two metres away now as he moves up a little closer. Dancing Finn had hoped that he goes up and eyeballs the leader and puts some pressure on. She's one out, one back, and she's giving Polly put Kettle on around about eight metres as they come to the judge with a circuit to go, and they're filling their gaps better now. Melegin is behind the leader. It's exceptional. Races on the inside at Glacier Heights. Around the bend they go. 700 metres to travel. Second quarter, 30.8. 61.9 for the half. And now Grinferon goes to the girth of the leaders. They hit the uh, 620. And Polly put Kettle on, joined by Grinferon on the outside. Dancing Finn. She's handy. She's five metres behind Polly. And at this stage, Roy Horrick hasn't moved with her. Uh, he's looking at his options, whether he's going to come three wide or go and drop behind uh, Polly put Kettle on and go for the sprint lane. She's got something to offer. Smith continues to look over his shoulder, looking when he should press the button, and he's doing it now. And she just wanted to lay in there, Dancing Finn, from where I hurry asked her to go, and she lost five metres. She's giving the leader Polly six metres, top of the front straight. Polly sprints quickly. Dancing Finn can, but she can't make up the ground. She's got seven, eight metres to make up, and Polly goes on for another win. Polly put Kettle on, wins comfortably. Goes on the win by 13 metres on the line from Dancing Finn. Finn. Grinferon was third, fourth place in Glacier Heights. Behind those, it's exceptional. And the last one.